Hi everyone, right, I've just made this, um, well I made the butterfly last night and decorated it when I got in from work a few minutes ago. Um, I just want to show you a close up of it. It is absolutely stunning and it's a butterfly on a butterfly. I will be doing a tutorial on this. I will show you how to do the background because that's um, done with spackle. Uh, I have added some um, trim um, and it does look absolutely stunning. So uh, that's my shabby chic butterfly. It is quite big as you can see, that's my hand. Um, and I love it, absolutely love it. So I'm going to show you how to make that later on. Just going to try and hold it up to the lights. See, it won't, I don't want to spoil it, you see. Like that. Isn't that gorgeous? It really, really is. Keep holding it to the light. So I'm absolutely thrilled to death with it. And I will show you how to make it. <laughs> Speak to you soon. Watch out for the still pictures. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, uh, I'm about to do the tutorial on this absolutely gorgeous butterfly and I have put a little hanger on it just for now but it can be taken off. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I am going to take you through it stage by stage and uh, or step by step. I'm going to, oh, I'm, I'm just, just let me show you this. I went for my picture doing yesterday, um, you know for the passport. It's now gone off, ladies, so I should wait. You should get that back shortly. But how stupid can one get? I got into the booth. I sat down. I put my money in the slot. And then it said, please remove glasses. If you're wearing glasses, please remove. So I removed my glasses. And then it says, follow the instructions on screen. Well, I couldn't bloody well see them, could I? And look, oh, I'm dropping everything. I look like a blooming convict. Look at that. <laughs> I, I was shouting, Raymond, because <laughs> he's outside the booth. And he put his head in the curtain. He went, what? I went, I've got to take my glasses off. I've done that, but I can't see the instructions. <laughs> I thought, how pathetic. Why do they think people wear glasses? It's so they can damn well see. Oh, dearie me. What a carry-on. Get back to the tutorial. Now, I'm going to tell you the things you're going to need to make that, that particular butterfly. Okay? You're going to need... Um, now, I have a template. This is the butterfly template that I have. It's absolutely gorgeous, quite big. And you need two of those. Okay? You need one slightly smaller than the other because that is what you do is when you've finished, because of all the lace and everything that you're gluing on uh, and all the bits and that, you need to sit that on the back so it hides and tied, it hides all the mess and tied, it tidies it up. So you're going to need two butterflies, one slightly smaller than the other. Just mark on it which is the back so you don't get mixed up. And that's my template. You're also going to need, so that's the um, butterflies, you're going to need some gathered lace. Some nice pearly bling. Don't use t uh, the pearls that are big. You need delicate pearls, what I call, you know, tiny pearls. So you're going to need some of that. You're going to need some spackle, or you could use another medium, it doesn't matter. The background effect is however you want it. I use the spackle because you can twirl it and, and, and whatever. You can do all sorts with it. You <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to need some stickles. 
Now, I've got two feathers out. I may use them. I may not. And I might. I won't be using the whole feathers anyway. You need a bling for the very centre. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've got two wings that I've taken from another butterfly. So I'm going to be using those. I've got the back plate that's going to sit on the butterfly. And I've also got that butterfly, which I'm going to add to that. Look at that, to bling it up. So I might not need that, but I will need some pearls running up the middle. So we'll see. I'll see how it goes, how it looks. Oops. I've got some of these out. Um, I don't know why. I like the colour purple. I'm doing a purple butterfly this time. So I might use them. I might not. I've got some um, Perfect Pearled, and this is the blush, nice blush one. I've already made the antennae, and what I do with mine, I put the tiniest dob of glue on the antennae, and I stick the bead on first, uh, so I've got that made up as well. Going to need the brush for the Perfect Pearls. Pencil, if you're going to have to cut yours out, your uh, template. Couple of paint brushes, um, and then some paint and scissors and that's what you're going to need for this tutorial so if you want to go along with me go and get your stuff because you can always pause the video when you're you know stage by stage so that's the stuff you're going to need run along and get them and then let's get crafting okay so first of all what you're going to do and put everything to one side okay, I don't, I'll just pop them there Move those out of the way, put them safe. Start with a clean surface. I've marked on mine which is the front and the back, so I'll put that one out of the way. Over there. And what we're going to do with this now is to spackle it. So let me just put all these bits here. So you don't do anything else apart from get some. I mean, you can spray it once you've got this on and dried it. You can spray it, it doesn't matter. Whatever suits you. Now, oh sorry, you need a spatula as well. So here we are, I've got my spackle. Now I'm only working bits at a time. And all I'm going to do, and you don't need a lot, is just to spread that on like that. Just making sure you're covering the surface with enough to work with. Don't worry about going over the edges, that doesn't matter. Well, that will peel off or cut off one or the other. So I'm not doing too thick a layer. I mean you could do it as thick as you want. I just want to make sure that I've got the whole thing covered. Right, so what I'm going to do now, because you get this all over you, right? Um, I'm just going to clear my knife off. I'm just going to do that with it. If you haven't got enough on, pop a bit more on. In fact, I might do a swirly pattern. Might not. You, it can be as rough as anything. It doesn't matter. I mean, look at that. I like that. Do it however you want. Right. Then what you're going to do when you've got all of that on, you dry it. And you dry it until it bubbles, it's just started to bubble it's not completely dry but it doesn't matter take your main colour ok, and you'll need your paintbrush fairly thick brush that will you know spread further ooh, purple, purple, purple <laughs> and then all you're going to do 
is just stipple it. Don't brush it because you'll brush it off. Just stipple it. So these, you know, I do try and bring you a tutorial that's easy to follow. And I hope that um, people try this. Right, so that one's done up to now. Oh, look at that. Waste not, want not. <coughs> Just going to wash my brush. Ready for the next, because I'm going to put a lighter purple on, but not just yet. I'm going to dry this off. Right, so that's that one. Now I'm going to go in with the lighter one. This is the lavender. And I'm not going to do much to it. I'm just just dabbing it all over basically go I'm happy with that don't need any more not enough to clear up that so all I'm going to do is dry that just got time right what I'm doing now is I've got my homemade uh, stickles just pop some on and just work that in. You can still see the colour through, so that's perfect. And it just glams up the butterfly. I don't run out. Hopefully that'll be enough. Don't do down the middle because you, you want to, your embellishment to stick. And I've got a tutorial out on how to do the stickles. And what I'm going to do now is to dry that. And I'm just going to leave that a minute to one side. Put that there. Now, this is the centre thing that I'm going to have here. Um, and for that, I now need to add a little bit of lace. Oops. So I'm going to glue on the lace. like that right. take hold of that sorry if you're not watching oh burnt myself then 
just fold it over on the corner as you do it like that what you're doing is you're bringing it up and over and it makes that corner to do is to chop that off at the end. Okay. And that's fine. I'm happy with that. So next what I'm going to do is to glue that on. Glue! Glue! I need more glue! And just put like a cross in the middle because you do have to hold that push that down bind your fingers or oh, it's still going to be hot Let's make sure that's stuck down I need something to hold that let's just do that check the time yeah. doesn't matter about the glue bits on this you can scrape them off you're just getting that to stick. That will be hidden anyway. And clean all them bits off later. I get absolutely blathered in gloomy. And then the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to put these wings on. There's just a blob in the middle. I'm going to pop them wings like that. It's because it's still hot. There, like that. Now, I don't know. No, I'm not going to do that. But where did I put my bling? There we are. I'm going to put my bling in the middle. That's just to get that. And pop that in the middle. Like that. And then all you do is to bend the wings up to make it 3D. And while you're doing that, just squash that down in the middle. Now what you're going to do is just to measure the pearl string. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can cut it a bit longer if you want. But I'm measuring it. What I've done is I've taken the pearl string. I've popped it underneath there because that's where I'm going to have the first one. Um, then I'm going to have one there. I need to cut that shorter. One there like that. Oops, sorry, I got that wrong.
there you go, you've got that so far. Now, turn the butterfly upside down. And what you're going to put on is, first of all, we're going to add the tassel. And we need to, as long as this bobble bit doesn't hang down too far. I usually just put it there between the two wings. Brush that. Once it's started to dry, you can tap it. And it'll just help that stick. It'll be secured anyway. Um, and then what we're going to do is just to put some blobs of glue either side, whichever way the pearls curl, pop them on. You need four strands. You don't have to have them all different, but I've cut mine different lengths. I may change the length of them once I've got them on. Okay. Once I turn it round. And then all I'm going to do is to add the lace. And to do that, just um, you just have to be careful. The lace has to go over everything, so... really really be careful to do snip that off like that take that bit out and then while you've got it like that take the back panel run your glue round like that Place it onto your butterfly, like that. Turn it upside down and quickly press to secure. Okay, and then you just lift your butterfly wings back up. Put your shape back in them or whatever you want to do with them. Fluffing my feathers back out. Quite what I had in mind there. Miss this. And here we are. All I've done now, I've um, fluffed up the, or picked up the uh, wings on this butterfly. Um, everything's added on. And I've just put the pipe cleaner on the back here. I could have added a chain, but I've just put a pipe cleaner on this for now. Um, one of these is going to be a gift for somebody and then uh, if they want to take a, put a chain on it all you have to do is peel it off the back and do it then but um, right now I'll just show you them they are stunning one's in white lace one's in uh, cream lace as you can see I do like the white lace better although I like the purple colour 